Now you got a new quarterback, all right? His name is Josh Rosen. You know Josh Rosen. He's been a big deal since he's about 14. He's a five-star recruit since he was in middle school. Uh, can really throw a ball. Went to UCLA. Didn't play that well. But he had three different OCs in three years. Didn't have a great supporting cast. Went to Arizona. Didn't play well. But, you know, had a bad coach who got fired. Didn't have a great supporting cast. Went to Miami. Didn't play well. Another first-year coach, defensive coach. Maybe never really had a shot. Then he went wound up on a on a uh, practice squad. He's had no stability in his life in terms of coaching since, since high school. And now you walk in the picture, Shane. What are you going to do to help Josh Rosen have a future in the league? Because CJ has no future. CJ's the crash test dummy who's going to take the hits behind this ridiculous offensive line and get you through the end of the season that doesn't count or matter because you're out. You don't want to re-sign him next year. He's a free agent. CJ, goodbye. Thank you for everything. You're a hell of a ping pong player. Work on that. And maybe you can represent America in the Olympics because you're so good at ping pong, but not at, at, at quarterback. So you got to go. Rosen, he might be someone you might want to bring back next year on the practice squad because he can really throw. He can't move. I don't know if he can read a defense or if he has any intangibles or tangible qualities other than his ability to throw a football well, but he really can't. So my advice to you, Shane, is really teach that fetal technique well to Beathard because you don't want Rosen on the field. If Rosen has to play this season, that's bad. He'll play bad. He'll get hit. And there will be no project. You won't be able to develop Rosen because he'll be ruined. The way that Jimmy got hurt and the way that Nick Mullins got hurt and the way that CJ might get hurt if he doesn't really perfect the fetal technique, the fetal position. So what you, your job, Shane, is to keep Josh Rosen off, off the field, you know, and that comes back to your coaching for, for CJ. Conservative to the max, protect yourself, don't take hits. Rosen has some ability. He should not be playing behind this. Any quarterback who has any type of future shouldn't be playing behind this offensive line. That, I guess, includes Rosen. So, Shane, it is your job to keep him off the field. Do not let Josh Rosen play. There's going to be there's going to be there's going to be people asking for it because CJ really stinks. And what's going to happen is it's going to dawn on Niner fans early in this game. It's like, oh, yeah, it's the same CJ Beathard who lost to Josh Rosen twice in 2018. The same CJ Beathard who can't beat anyone, who beats himself. Every, and, and Niner fans are be like, you know what? Bring in Rosen. I don't care. Bring in Rosen. I don't care because they remember that Rosen beat the Niners twice in 2018. Beat Beathard. And they're going to want to see something because the Niner, fan, Niner fans have no patience, man. They they want someone benched immediately. And that's going to be Beathard in about six quarters. So you got to make sure that, uh, you know, Kyle Shanahan isn't reading my Twitter feed and things like that because he's going to – you can't let him make that, 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 that uh, change. If you want someone to tutor next year, you got to – protect Josh Rosen. Otherwise your quarterback room next year is going to be you and me. So I don't know. Be careful. <laughs>